my name is Mani and welcome with RK Rosie Education. Today we have Suleika and uh, she's been teaching since more than two and a half years. Uh, she cleared uh, C1 and uh, I had requested her because we, since we were teaching German, we realized a lot of students need the tips to clear the paper and that's the reason why we are making up this video. So I think this video would be beneficial for all the students who wanted to pursue their uh, German education or wanted to clear the German papers altogether. So the first uh, which we're going to discuss in this video would be about B1 that how we're going to clear the lazing paper. So um, we're going to share 10 tips in this video where you can share, you should follow those 10 tips to clear your lazing paper in order. So, so uh, Suleika before starting I would request you to give your introduction and then we're going to start with this video. Alright, so my name is Suleika Rai and I have cleared my C1 level. So I would be giving you tips uh, to clear B1 level actually, which is much much easier. Uh, but in comparison to A1 and A2 level, you would have to work really hard. Okay, so the first step which we feel is very important is the format. So the, you should know the format of the paper before appearing to the paper. Mm -hmm. And I think you must be knowing because you would be solving a lot of sample papers. But still, can you just give the tips and the types of format is there in the lesson? Exactly, yes. So the lesson paper consists of uh, five questions in total, in which the first question uh, contains a paragraph. So you have to uh, go through the paragraph, you have to understand what the paragraph is about and you have to mark richtig or falsch, which means true and false. So you just have two options and you have to mark this. In second question... Oh, I wanted to add on something very important before we go to the second question. I have seen a lot of students complaining that they are not able to make up the true and false. And I think this is a reason because they may go for the literal translation. So please don't go for the literal translations, read the entire sentence and then mark it. Yeah. So this is a major problem I've seen for the students. Yeah, I'm sorry, for the second part. Alright, so in the second question, you get two more paragraphs and four questions based on those two paragraphs. And most of the times, the first question that you get in those two paragraphs is what the paragraph is actually about. So while reading, you have to take care of that, that while reading, you have to know, you have to uh, figure out what it is about in general. And then you get three different MCQs. You get MCQs questions and you have to mark uh, answers for those particular questions. Then, the in, third. Yeah. yeah. So in the third question, uh, you get another uh, advertisement questions. You get a few statements or let's say conditions which you have to read and understand and then you have to pick out the advertisement which matches with it hmm. absolutely matches with it sometimes hmm. they really confuse you with synonyms and different words so there would always happen it will certainly happen at least for one time that you get multiple advertisements and you think that everything is matching with that statement so you have to be very careful in that and another point that you should keep in mind is that this one statement which does not match with any of those advertisements. Mm -hmm. And you should not go through that particular yeah. statement. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so the second point I feel is very important for the, all the students is vocabulary. Yeah. So would you like to add on something on vocabulary part? Uh, yes, yes, absolutely. Uh, in question number four and five. I would suggest that in question number four, it's a ja nein Frage. You just have to mark yes or no. You have been given some, uh, you will be given some mind no, which means opinions of different people, and then you have to match if it matches with the theme or not. If they are in favor of the topic or against. And then in question number five, uh, you have another paragraph and just four questions. Again, MCQs questions. In this particular question, I would suggest you should always use elimination method. So instead of looking for the correct answers, just figure out why you would like to eliminate the one. Yes, and apart from this, I feel the vocabulary is very, very important yes, and you should be thorough with A1 and A2 vocabulary. 
plus the articles very yes. very important right. i i have seen in my class they know the vocabulary but the articles are really yeah. bad so awesome. please learn the vocabulary along with the articles as an important part the third is the reading material so um, we you should follow the three books for the reading material if you can just tell those three books yes uh, those three books are um goethe's certificate behinds zogate's knock besser behinds and then proofum streaming behinds so if you do if you solve all the sample papers from these three books you will definitely clear your paper exam and i think these uh, three book consists of more than 30 sample yes. papers and if these books are more than 30 sample papers of course you're going to clear it i'm yes. sure enough and then let's come to the strategy that strategy yes. which we have already discussed the strategy in the format part but do yeah. you feel any other strategy apart from this absolutely uh, before attempting a question Uh, as many ma'am has already said that vocabulary is important you should always look for the synonyms they try to uh, they try to confuse you with the synonyms in the question it would be given a different word and in the paragraph it must be written in some other way so you should always mark the keywords what you are looking for in the paragraph and i would suggest that in question number 3 and in question number 5 you should always use elimination Yes, and the synonyms was our next topic. But still, she said that synonym is very important, and she is very true about it. Synonym is very, very important. And I've seen the students not learning the synonyms. Please go to the synonyms always. Uh, then comes the time management because a lot of students face this problem. So let's discuss about the time management part. So as we were discussing the strategy uh, to manage the time, you should follow a particular a uh, sequence. I would suggest. Since tile ends and tile swai takes up the maximum number of time, maximum number of minutes. So I would suggest you should start with uh, perhaps uh, question number four, that is tile four, which is of maximum marks and does not take up as much as time. Then you should go for question number three, five, followed by second and one. Yes, and apart from this, please um, complete. This is the second, uh, this other part that complete your paper with the time. So put up an alarm and then uh, complete your sample paper while practicing at at its place because this is a problem. So if you have that practice to go in one go, you will not be really in a hard situation when you appear for the exam. Absolutely, exactly. Most of the students uh, while practicing they just do one time. they what they do is they get bored easily so they just practice one tile once so uh, as many ma'am has said you should always go through the paper and go at it at one go you should solve the paper within the time limit and continuously mm -hmm. i think these are the only important points which uh, all the students should know before appearing for the uh, paper and uh, please make sure that you follow these steps among these steps two important tips are very important i feel the synonyms and the vocabulary because if you know all, both of them it would be easy for all the tiles right so thank you so much for watching this video if you have any question feel free to text us write us a comment or you can call us we would be very happy to help you out we have a different playlist for masters in germany bachelors in germany or various other countries thank you so much